David Lemieux, of course, is from the boxing hotbed of Montreal. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless. Touch up. Chance for him to outbox another fighter with a big name in a slugging war because that is not in the it's explosive power but he has quicks and that that's um and Gennady, Gennady Golovkin came out and confounded those you have to admire about that is that even Gennady was smart enough to talk you want to fight Happy's job is to try to emulate hey, Lemieux might have heard it with one of those big punches just in or left hook well, Lemieux's early on slow. Chris not, that's what I'm saying. If not, it may to make Lemieux respect his power. Le Lemieux showed in the Gabriel's athletic quality, his hand speed and punching power wouldn't carry the day. He would. And so if Tapia's thought is that you weather this storm and then. You got to do something to slow Lemieux down. Manages to block a body shot with his right elbow. Been hurt. And then he followed that with a beautiful left uppercut where you're starting to block the body. Look right on the chin of Tapia. You can ask for Lemieux. And Lemieux had a good round. And now Glenn Town looked much better for him than what came before. There are some body shots for Tapia. That, that first right hand to the body right under the heart of Lemieux seemed to... Uh... Oh, Tapia just had to... Roach retire fighters in the gym and, and fighters cry. He went to Freddie Roach and asked him what Roach... He told him, I've been telling you, you're not a junior middleweight, you're a middleweight. It didn't look very stable right there. Oh, left there's a hard left hook. Lemieux's hand speed him makes him up. so dangerous in the big right now or he's gonna have problems Because he's not still upstairs. That's giving Tapia a little bit of a chance. Oh Sadly, yeah, Tapia Another body shot been. might be enough to put him down and by the way He might have helped himself by taking a knee for knee. There's just no knee taking in Glenn Tapia's game He's salt in the sense that he stayed on his feet, but this was another good round for David body shot and Lemieux punches it between the two body shots lands a beautiful and he was stiff-legged for a long period of time after that. So you heard so short to the point. Like that right there. There's another uppercut. Yeah, when you think about how Lemieux looked against Ndam and Zotto and now to Gennady Golovkin's quality that he just won every... Yeah, yet now because Tapia still command a big one. He's just not... To offer a fairly eloquent answer to the guys that he's been fighting. He fought David Lemieux. Yeah, and Martin. I think what's wrong with Tapia so far, Roy, is that Lemieux left. He lands a right hand again. Uh, he got blocked. And there's a. I'm saying that Tapia could change things around with. Right. Like that. Talk about no quitting the guy. That Kirkland fight. The case. Starting to become a pretty good fight now. Yes, as Glenn Tapia gets his feet under right there. Set Interesting because early in his left hook has become more and more and more his primary weapon. Thirty to twenty-seven in favor of the French Rocky Graziano. Nice third round. He fought back a little. He showed he could take the punches. Yeah, he Down. Down goes hard left. Hey. <laughs> the mule is some punch. Oh, oh. They're gonna stop the fight. Flex Deviant, the man who was his trainer earlier in his career. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. Fifty-six seconds. Round number four. At the request of the blue corner, referee Russell Mora puts a halt to this bout. Your winner by TKO victory, and now the new NABO middleweight champion, David Lemieux! Four punches than Tapia, and lands at a higher percentage. Lands... 65 more punches than Tapia.